Hey, this is Emily at Oz Inflatable Kayaks, and I'm here in this short video to talk to you about life jackets, or otherwise known as PFD, personal flotation devices. So life jackets are a great way to stay safe in the water, um, and the ones that I have chosen are specifically designed to fit well with our really high back seats. So our kayaks are a bit unusual. They have a much higher seat back than your average kayak. Now that's fantastic, because it's like paddling from a lounge chair, but we need to make sure you don't have a vest that's gonna stop halfway down your back, a foam vest and give you this sort of big lump that you're leaning against. So I've narrowed it down to two really good models that work in completely different ways. Uh, my personal favorite is the Crew Fit. This is an inflating life jacket. So see this toggle here, you pull the, the toggle and it erupts. There's a CO2 canister in there. It, it bursts through the zipper and it fills up with air and it's got a huge amount of buoyancy. So the 165 refers to Newtons, which is the upward buoyancy. And this is actually a boating life jacket. But the reason I love it is look how streamlined it is. There is no foam on your back, on your chest, getting you nice and hot and sweaty. <laughs> like I live on the Gold Coast where it's hot. I like to go kayaking, you know, on beautiful days. And I love that this one keeps me cool and has no bulk. The other thing I love is there's no lumps involved. Like this strap goes around your waist, but it's a flat strap. Then this strap here goes down your back just to keep that off your neck so that you're not getting sweaty in your neck, but it's a flat strap. So you can't feel anything on your back when you're sitting in the kayak, if that makes sense. It's a wonderful, wonderful option if you're comfortable with A, pulling a toggle and B, servicing it. So when I say pulling a toggle, um, some people, you know, if they if something happens and you end up in the water, they want to know that they're immediately going to be buoyant. And that's not the case with this one. You have to pull the toggle to get it to erupt. The CO2 canister is single use, but we sell spare CO2 canisters. So on the off chance that something happens and you need to use it, you would just replace out the CO2 canister. So the lifeless will last you, you know, a very long time. It's purely about replacing that canister. Now, when I say servicing requirement, there's actually instructions on the jacket, but you've got to check a few things. This is a mouthpiece here, so you can blow it up and leave it for an hour. Make sure that it's all perfectly sealed. There's no holes or anything like that. Then you check the canister and a couple of other things, and that's basically it. And it's got a little note on it where you can, a little area where you can jot down the date of that service, make sure you're doing it regularly. But you want to do that because obviously it, it only is good as, as the fact that it's sealed, if that makes sense sense if it doesn't inflate then you're in big trouble okay but beautiful at keeping you cool and fairly compact as well so if you're traveling you don't have a lot of space there's no foam to deal with now the yak high back is completely different this is a foam pfd and this is recreational it has 60 newtons of um, upward buoyancy on it so it's a lower rating of buoyancy but it's it's a, a kayaking specific life jacket the difference is, see how it stops at the bottom of your shoulder blades and from there down it's mesh. So again, your seat can come right up here and it doesn't interfere with your seat. It doesn't give you a lump in your seat back, if that makes sense. Now, for a lot of people that aren't comfortable with pulling a toggle, they love the fact that this is instantaneously going to work. <laughs> you fall in and you are going to be buoyant. I have also find, I've got one of these and I find the pockets to be great. I can stick my action camera in there and rubbish and bits and bobs. Um, but it is still foam. So it's hotter than your crew fit. Okay, so a personal choice. The servicing requirement, sorry, for this one is quite simple though. You literally just look at it. If you see something broken, you obviously go and get it fixed. If you see something deteriorating, you can repair it or you can, you know, maybe it's time for a new one. You don't need to do that kind of blowing up and checking of cylinders and whatnot. So it's a bit of a simpler servicing requirement. Okay, so personality wise, it's totally up to you, but they are both excellent uh, PFDs to go with our range of high backed um, high back seats in our advanced frame kayaks. If you have any questions about choosing between these PFDs and your kayak, please don't hesitate to get in touch. This is Emily at Oz Inflatable Kayaks.